Good afternoon, it's Brian of Fitzpatrick's Garage, Dublin Road, Kildare. I'm going to show you this Peugeot 2008 1.6 HDI. Uh, Brian's my name, if there's any information you want on this particular car, give us a call 086 843 or the garage 045 53300. Or if you come to the garage, just ask for Brian, I'll be quite happy to help you. So, this car we took as a part exchange. Uh, the previous owner had the car since brand new. He traded in for a Honda HRV, which is a car that's in a similar kind of segment. Um, so this one is a 2008 uh, Peugeot, which is 1.6 HDI and what's called an active model. Uh, as far as I can see, most of the ones that appear to be for sale at the moment um, on the internet sites in Ireland, Carzone, Dundee, seem to be active models, so it seems to be a popular kind of specification. Uh, but there does seem to be a 1.4 and a 1.6 as well. Uh, exterior features, and again, we're not a main Peugeot dealer. We do Hyundai, Honda, Mercedes and Opel, but um, the specification, so this may be standard for anyone that's more familiar with the Peugeot specs than me. Um, chrome on the grille, which looks quite nice. Chrome down around the fog lamps uh, down along here as well. And same sort of uh, idea going up along the roof rails on top. And then this chrome section over the rear door as well. So it looks pretty nice. Um, the wheels are a polished style finish as well. Um, the car is going to go through our workshop, so we will service the car and it will be provided with a 12 months warranty. I think these cars come with three years warranty and 100,000 kilometers, but we guarantee at least a minimum of 12 months of warranty with the car and breakdown assist as well. Condition is very, very nice throughout. Uh, so the, looking at the car all the way down the side, the driver's um, wing and door are all nice and original and straight. Um, so very, very good condition all the way down. And then coming around the back, the bumper area, is in nice condition throughout as well and all the way up the passenger side so rear left hand side of the bumper onto the rear quarter panel and doors all very very nice condition so uh, if anyone comes to look at the car i think you'd be quite happy with the condition of the vehicle overall after that then we'll say that 1.6 diesel engine <coughs> i'm led to believe just looking from what i've read seems to return somewhere in the region of 55 60 miles per gallon i think we'll go a little bit higher but that seems to be the going rate um, after that then this little lever in here opens up the boot <coughs> so for this size of car it is an mpv but it is a mini mpv uh, so it's not one of the bigger ones uh, but the boot is pretty darn big so light inside underneath uh, is there yeah that lifts up so bear with me now for a sec that lifts up with that and there is a spare wheel which on a lot of cars is becoming a thing of the past uh, but this one does there's some storage pocket down there. Same on the other side. Boot is really, really nice condition all the way through. So I think anyone that looks at the car will be very, very satisfied with that. Grab handle up here to close it down. Oh, nearly took my watch off there. Um, okay, rear of the car. So excellent condition all the way through. Previous owner did not have children. So um, the rear of the car is very, very unused. Seats are pretty much perfect. Same on the rear here and in around here. So apologies now, I know it is dark, but it has been snowing outside today. Um, you do have a wind-up window actually in the back of these, um, but along here then, yep, chai locks and that kind of stuff as well, size-wise. So that's how I'd sit in the seat. And then there is a light back here as well, which is pretty good. That gives us like, I'm six foot, so there is a pretty good amount of room in the back. Three three-point safety belts all the way across the back. And then you do have eyes of fix for child seats as well up front there's a really really funky dash on these actually uh, so electrics for windows electrics for mirrors sorry about that noise in the background it's just a compressor making noise so along here we have uh, child locks for the rear doors parking assist on or off traction control and then eco function on or off um, for I suppose an aid uh, in terms of economical driving so I'm throwing this light here now for a sec um, okay, on the inside then, there is a fully stamped service history uh, glove box and turn off the <coughs> passenger airbag. Uh, full stamp service history down through here as well. Now we will service the car. In terms of that seat, that's absolutely perfect. Just to have a look at the driver's seat, uh, that is absolutely perfect. And then there has been floor mats in the car to protect the floors. Um, after that, usual wiper controls, but they are automated. So that means we'll say your lights, if lights, wipers, if it starts raining, they'll come on themselves. Over here, you have auto lights. So again, when it gets dark, the lights will come on. The steering wheel is tiny. Um, 
So much smaller. It's uh, of any car I've driven in a long time. The steering wheel is really, really small, but I think that's a Peugeot design philosophy. But it's kind of cool actually when you're driving the car. It feels. It just makes it really easy to use. The, the steering is super, super light. Um, so that's ease uh, of use, I guess. Uh, heating controls down through here with air conditioning. And then the clocks up here are mounted kind of, if you're sitting, they're sort of in your line of sight as you're looking out through the car. So uh, pretty cool down along through here. Um, Bluetooth, radio controls. <coughs> radio is, Okay, on or off. It has an overall menu, which is touch screen. After that, we got radio functions, that's fine. And then back out of that for a sec, FM, okay. Uh, this is, all right, obviously, if you've downloaded photos and things like that then as well. And what else have we got on that menu? Communication, which is phone and Bluetooth, call log, overall settings. And then things like media, so external devices. And that also mounts up, if you open up your door, yeah, it tells you that your door's open. And this also uh, works as the parking assist. Handbrake is a bit unusual. So, typical kind of French unusual sort of style, but it's cool. Uh, so, reverse. Okay, so we get a noise behind us and the radar comes up when we go for reverse. And, I'm just gonna back up here now for a sec and make sure I don't hit anything. Yeah, so. It's telling me I got an obstruction behind me, and sorry now, I've got it. Yeah, okay. Um, right after that, so that's just a basic overview in the car. There is a ton more stuff, but I guess if you're looking for a car that's in around, um, I suppose a little bit bigger than a normal uh, hatchback car <coughs> in terms of height, uh, so you get a nice high driving position, more headroom and uh, more space in the boot as far as I can see as well. This car is probably something that may be of uh, consideration. Um, road tax is going to be 200 euros for the year. Fuel efficiency, as we were saying, it would be 55 to 60 miles per gallon. The car is really, really nice condition, so if it is something of interest, I'm very, very sure you wouldn't be disappointed. Um, so we're garaging Kildare. It's a family-run business and operation since the 1950s, so we provide 12 months warranty, uh, financing, and then we can take the cars to trade them. So if you want to see pictures in the car, just go to www.hondacenter.ie. Uh, Brian's been my, man, my name, and if there's any information on the car, please give us a call 086-843-1945 or garage 045 Thanks for watching.